Hey YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Sean here again from Sean's Rabbit Chain Aquaponics Produce. We're back with another aquaponics video. You know, guys, it's been a real hectic week. You know, we uh, started a build for a new commercial aquaponics system for our client. So we've been there more or less for the entire week. Uh, I'm not going to say who the project is for as yet. You guys will just have to wait a little longer for that information. All in all, the project is coming along really nicely. Like I said, it's kept us quite busy. But don't worry, pretty soon, uh, in the next couple weeks or so, I'll be releasing a video showing you some of the build that took place there uh, when the system is almost complete. And of course, we'll follow the progress as it goes along. So stay tuned, guys. We'll be back with more right after the intro. Hey guys so we're back and we're here at the fish tank I uh, don't know if you're able to see anything there uh, the water is a little red from the um, iron chili that I added uh, but let's let's add some food and see if we can see anything there They seem to be a bit shy, but uh, they're taking it in small chomps. Alright, but we'll give them a couple minutes and by the time we're back, I'm sure all that food will be gone. So, I'll just give you guys a quick run through today. Uh, some time ago, I told you all that we were putting some plants into the media beds as well as into the deep water culture beds and we do a comparison to see how much different they grow uh, we had put some cauliflower plants so we're gonna take a quick look at that today but first of all let me just give you a quick run through well behind me you can see our replacement uh, purple trees they've grown quite big since we've removed the larger ones that gave us such lovely fruit and if you can see right there, uh, right there, I think you can see a couple of fruit on there. So we have some fruit coming on there. So uh, in all honesty, these trees aren't looking as bountiful as the ones we had before. However, we'll carry them as far as they can go and see what fruit we get from those. So we have uh, some really nice pak choy here. We're gonna be harvesting some of those actually we've already harvested some i ate a couple of them last night together with a piece of rabbit meat that i stewed and added the vegetables after so that was quite lovely let me take you guys up the road a little bit and show you a quick glimpse of how some of the plants are coming on This way we have uh, another one of our purple trees here and as you can see well this one seems to be doing a lot better there are a lot of small fruit coming on there and so far they've all stayed on they should start turning green in a few days and starting to grow so we expect some nice results from this one okay so here we are at our media bed that has our cauliflower plants. Let me see if I can give you all 
a good view of them all. all right, they're all looking really nice and healthy. Coming along nicely. Now, what I have noticed with these uh, in comparison to the ones in the raft bed, which you'll see in a little while, uh, for the same time that they've been planted, these are a lot taller. I'm thinking that those in the raft bed out there, they're at the end of the greenhouse, so they get a lot more of the morning sun, and that direct sunlight, I think, is having an impact on their growth. These seem to be a lot taller as when plants are reaching for the light but they still look quite healthy and we should get some good cauliflowers from them right. okay guys so these are the cauliflower plants that are in the raft bed and judging from what we just saw in the media beds i would dare to say that these are growing slightly better than those up there now uh, let me just give you a quick zoom in here if you zoom in you realize the plants are a lot shorter and stockier all right but they all look just as healthy as those with the exception of how much they've grown all of these are a lot shorter their nodes are a lot closer together so that's the only difference i really see between these and those up there uh, there's a slight yellowing uh, of the leaves here even on those in the media beds up there and I'm, you know that's a little deficiency that we have to treat with but I haven't really paid much attention to these plants for a couple of weeks you know I've been busy and by the time I get home sometimes in the night you don't really see the discoloration so we've just been feeding the fishes just to keep the system going Guess who just arrived? Always Hello. late to the party. You know it is always in the background getting something done. But I know today we dealt a lot with the aquaponics system. Sean and I have gone through a good number of things with you guys. But just remember, even in this COVID time, this is one of the things that you could really utilize to help you with your time, help you with eating healthy, you know. Just soak in the information and always like and subscribe. You know, to our channel and we'll give you all as much information as possible. Another important thing, anybody who now trying to get into aquaponics, if you're now starting up or you're just curious and you want information about it, make sure and contact us. But also, we would like for you all to give us some ideas, a topics you all want us to discuss. Right, on a weekly basis, when we upload the videos, we discuss the topics that can help you guys in where you want to be with your aquaponics okay guys so as we said just as a quick glimpse now we have some lettuce on the side here and we'll be honest with you guys we didn't even really expect too much from these lettuce these were just a few plants that we had extra and we decided to put them in but lo and behold they came really lovely look at those nice white roots okay and we didn't do anything we paid no attention to them whatsoever they literally grew you know right before our eyes because we put them in and we forgot about them almost like weeds <laughs> right and by the time we spun around we had some lettuce and we've even eaten a few of those already well sean has been harvesting almost every day and taking home with him so Right, decent head of lettuce for just a couple of weeks and almost zero attention. You know, so that's that's one of the benefits of having aquaponics. Uh, you can almost, not entirely, but you can almost set it and forget it. You know, especially when you have smaller systems that don't need much monitoring. You can put your plants in there and there's not much work to do but you can come back and have something that you can harvest that was grown by you for you all right guys so that's it for today another aquaponic video from sean's rabbit tree and aquaponic produce so just remember all the information that you got today utilize it 
hit us up if you want anything discussed in particular we'll be happy to discuss it for you guys because really and truly this is all about you all about you guys getting you guys the right information making sure that you all have the right tools to be successful at aquaponics so again this is sean mclean and sean austin saying till the next video now don't forget guys make sure and follow lindell's channel as well lindell brooks aquaponics we have a lot more collaborations coming with him soon so you definitely need to follow his channel as well i'll leave the link to his channel in the description below this video so until next time guys peace peace